Hello everybody, good morning, it's Amanda. It's the 26th of March, 2020, Thursday. Um, how are you all doing? So I nearly didn't make a video today because I uploaded two yesterday and I don't want to drown you in information, but I had made a promise that when I can do these videos, I will. Um, and I have enough energy in the tank today and maybe I won't tomorrow. So I thought, yeah, I will. I'll come on and say hello to you all. Um, so just a few little updates and bits of information that are coming in overnight. And um, I mentioned last night um, on my Facebook page, and this is worth repeating on YouTube, because it's just a really good piece of news and it's nice to share good bits of news. Um, that in the UK, in the last 24 hours, there have been 400, I think it was 405 or 450,000 people sign up to be a volunteer in the NHS. It's been called the NHS Volunteers Army, National Health Service. And that call went out 24 hours ago and nearly half a million people have come forward and um, wanted to help. And I think that is amazing. I think that just really, I don't know, it really raised my spirits yesterday when I saw that. There are so many good people out there. I've always taught my girls that when they were growing up, that, you know, you see a lot of uh, negativity out there and um, nastiness in society. But always remember, there are far more good people in this world. It's just that you tend to notice the uh, the bad apples a little bit more. So, yeah, the NHS Volunteers Army, maybe you're one of them. These are people that um, are going to be called on to drive people to hospitals, pick up prescriptions, um, pick up supplies. I don't know. I don't know what's going to be asked of them. But um, that is an amazing result, UK. So well done. Well done to us, I want to say. Um, a few other little pieces of information in overnight. I think I'm correct in saying that South Africa went into lockdown stroke safe harbour last night. Um, the next two countries that I want to read on are, I think, are going to be South Africa. And I'm really, really getting a strong pull to do India, even though I haven't got that many people that watch me in India, although I do have a few, but not as many, obviously, as other countries. Well, not obviously, I just don't have as many um, in India, but I'm feeling very called to look at India. So I think the thing is that every single country read, there will be relevancies to all of us because what's happening is a worldwide uh, thing at the moment. So we can all learn from each other. Um, yes, I will also do other countries um, as and when I get the time. I definitely have Canada and Australia on my map to do. Uh, I'll touch on New Zealand as well. Um, there's a limit to how many I can do, but I will try and get through as many as I can. But I think South Africa and, Ind and India are going to be the next two. Thank you to those of you that have watched the American video I put up last night. I enabled the comments with some trepidation, it has to be said, but actually I was pleasantly surprised. Um, yes, I have removed some comments that were extreme, but not that many actually. Um, I, I was really pleasantly surprised. So um, that's really good to see that people took it in the spirit that it was intended. I will just say on record, because I've never actually put my politics on record. Uh, all I have ever said is that I've, in my life, I voted for all of the three major parties in my particular country. I voted Labour, I voted Conservative, and I voted Liberal Democrat, and I voted Green as well. Um, my politics are pretty middle of the road. I. I personally um, don't like it when politics gets too much extreme to the right or to the left. So, yeah, if comments come in that are pushing an extreme right wing agenda, then um, I'm not going to have a platform for that on my page because it is my page. Um, I'm, I'm pretty much down the middle, you know, which is what Metatron teaches as well, the middle way um, for everything, not just politics. <laughs> um, able to see both sides, but not go to either extreme, if that makes sense. Right. Um, what I thought I'd do, actually, before I get into what I want to talk about today, I'm going to touch on this. I'm not even going to say the word because it's so controversial. I'm going to touch on that for a reason. Um, 
But I want, before I do that, I thought I wish I'd pulled a Metatron card from my own Metatron deck for all of the countries that I've already looked at, because that's what I'm going to do for going forward, because I've been pulling tarot cards. So I just thought I'd do that here, just for the record. Let's pull one card for UK, one card for Italy, one card for USA. Um, <clears throat> this will be an addition to whatever came through in the individual uh, videos that I did for them. So let's start first with the UK. And this is linked into um, the situation with the virus. UK. Mother Mary. To me, that's the Mother Mary card. I mean, it's, it's linked into the blue ray. And the reading for the UK actually was more positive than I thought it was going to be doesn't mean that we're not going to go through it and it might not be a very difficult period ahead, but there was a lot of strength that came through in the UK reading. Um, strength in leadership, strength in um, direction, and it just feels like there's a very protective energy around the UK at the moment. And there is this energy of um, the divine feminine as well. So for me, that links in very much to the Mother Mary energy. Mother Mary comes to me, you know, it's that song. Let it be, it's let it be, isn't it? It's from the Beatles, let it be. In my hour of need, Mother Mary comes to me. So I feel as though, um, yeah, I'm really noticing the star above Mary's head here. It's really shining very brightly as I'm looking at this card. And, you know, the UK traditionally is a Anglian, Anglian? No, that's a, that's a, Anglian, is that right? Yeah. Anglican Church, yes, Church of England, basically, um, predominantly. Although, of course, there are Catholics within the UK as well, as well as every other belief system under the sun, probably, which is great. But I'm not saying we're all about to become Catholic. But what I am saying is I'm feeling as though the, the Mary energy is going to be coming through much more clearly um, and strongly in the coming days and weeks ahead. I feel as though she's just going to be manifesting herself through people. And what does that mean? It means about embodying the energy of the mother, of the nurturer, of the carer, of the one who's there for other people. And to be honest, the fact that I've just talked about 405,000 people signing up, um, literally virtually overnight to be a volunteer to help, that's sort of the Mary energy. You know, it's like I'm going to, because there is a risk involved. If you volunteer to be a um, to go in to places where people might be infected or might be carrying the virus, but you're putting your um, your in in one way you're it's not that you're sacrificing yourself, but you're you're putting your own needs to one side for the greater good, and by doing that you have the protection of Mary. So I think that's rather lovely. The blue ray. Mary guiding us. Okay, so we've got that. We've got the blue ray. Let's have a look. What order did I do it? Then I had Italy. Let's see what card Italy gets from the Metatron deck. Let's put this one back into the pack just in case it wants to come out again. Oh, OK. So Italy have got this card, which is the card of healing, and it says pause to receive. So um, uh, Metatron here is saying that the rainbow light wishes to uh, descend over Italy because um, spirit have seen their pain and their suffering and if you watched my Italy video which was on the UK one um, I was being taken four weeks hence where they were in a sort of recovery period so it feels as though that rainbow light is coming down over Italy nice oh okay also a great awakening in Italy to um, other forms of healing um, I haven't visited Italy myself for a while, so I'm not up to date with, you know, what's on the street there. But I'm comparing it to countries such as France, which I have been to recently. Um, I've been to many towns in France and I've been the tourist struggling to find the crystal shop or the Reiki practitioner or, you know, whatever. Um, and it's a bit like it has been in the past, like searching for a needle in a haystack. It's just like impossible to find the alternative practitioners, although they are there. 
but not so visible as in other countries, particularly UK. And I suspect Italy may be the same, although there are some great Italian um, holistic doctors. I met one actually in Sardinia uh, a few years ago. But I feel as though they were the way showers and now there's a whole generation I'm hearing of people arising in Italy who are going to be more interested in the alternative ways to heal the body, mind and spirit. And it's been brought about by this um, by this crisis. So that will be good. That will be good. Uh, every time I put the card down, another message comes through because I'm also hearing some people in Italy are feeling as though the, ch the, the, the church were not there for them. The Vatican was not there for them. They, the leadership wasn't there in their hour of need. And so therefore um, they have opened the door energetically to other um, other forms of help, which are still of God, are still of Christ. You know, angelic healing is, is of God. Reiki is of God. You know, um, crystals are of God. Colour therapy is of God. Um, but just opening the doors to um, new adventures of the mind is what I'm hearing, you know, new ways to look at health. OK, let's put that card back in the deck as well. OK, and then we did USA. Let's have a look. Before I'm even pulling the card for USA, I've got like a pain suddenly in my back, uh, in my spine, which I don't normally have. And I do know that, you know, the, the back and the spine is where we hold, um, sorry, the mother card just flew out, but I, I'll, I'll, I'll take that, but I want one more because I wasn't actually shuffle, shuffling properly. I'll, I'll hold that. So also Mother Mary in America. Um, what am I trying to say? Yeah, my back. So the spine is where it holds memory. And if you've watched the USA video, it was all about, um, it kept mentioning there was an ancestor thing that kept coming up. So I feel as though there is healing of the ancestral lines going on in America um, and the indigenous people as well. So maybe that's why Mary flipped out. Let's just put her back in and let's just give it a good shuffle and see what comes out for USA in addition to that. So USA virus, just one card please from you Metatron from your own deck. Guess what it is, guys. If you've watched my video on America, you'll know why I'm smiling at this. I'm talking about the divisions have to cease. That was one of the messages coming through. The divisions have to cease. You have to realise that by attacking your opponent or the one that doesn't hold the same political view as you, that you're actually harming yourself that nobody wins in a country that is divided. You have to come back together. You have to find the balance. So the card that comes out for America is the card of duality. Balance needed. Balance needed. The light and the dark being balanced within the collective psyche. OK. Um, again, if you've been following my dailies, I've been talking about going down the rabbit hole or not, not. And the thing is, what I've noticed over the last three, four years is that I feel one of the big lessons for America with the current um, energy there is that you're being given the opportunity to look at the shadow. And what people have been doing is rather than looking at their own shadow within their self, their own darkness within themselves, they've wanted to sort of um, not do that and instead point the finger at other people they see who they perceive to be dark, who may very well be dark, OK? Um, but it's almost at the expense of them doing their own inner work on themselves, OK? Because it's always about starting with you. What I said yesterday, let the people that are appointed to bring down the dark beings in our society, let them do their job, you work on you, you work on you, you work on your own shadow. And so it's as though every single person in the world really needs this message. But in America, it's being particularly highlighted 
that you've got to find the balance. You've got to find the balance with each other and you've got to come back as one country rather than a country that's completely and utterly divided. Yeah. Card number 23. 23 is linked to initiation as well. Um, but once through that initiation, you can really be the light that shines for others once more. But until you're out of this energy of division, it's very hard to lead and to be seen to be leading because there is just disunity. So bring back the balance. But it starts with you. OK, let's get to one of the subjects I wanted to talk about today. Um, I wanted to mention this. The reason I'm holding up this word is this is one of the trigger words that comes up if, if you're this is a trigger word that can get um, videos um, penalised. So just because of algorithms and things. So this is the subject we're talking about. I'm sorry for people that are um, uh, deaf and who can't hear me. Maybe you can put two and two together and work out what I'm saying. Um, why this has come into my mind is that since yesterday, since I last spoke to you, Prince Charles in the UK has been diagnosed with um, the virus. And Charles, I was just chatting to somebody yesterday and I said, and I, he, he, I feel Charles will be OK. I mean, I, might, I hope he will be OK. Don't wish um, bad things on anybody. And I said, uh, you know, he's a great believer in homeopathy. He's a great believer in alternative medicines. Um, he probably eats quite well. He's been well cared for at the end of the day. Um, but it led me into this whole thing of looking at this subject. OK. Now, what I did not realise until yesterday, I was just scanning the paper. And then I found out that the Queen is also supposedly very into this. Now, this is fascinating. I'm just going to read you a little thing here. It says, uh, during the decades when she was travelling ab abroad, a small leather case went everywhere with the Queen. Divided into it was up to 60 compartments and replenished by aids before each journey. It contained a bewildering supply of homeopathic remedies, and I'll just said it anyway. Uh, <laughs> there was um, something for food poisoning, cocculus for travel sickness, nux vomica for indigestion, and arnica for jet lag and bruising. For the Queen, <clears throat> the presence of these cures was not just a reassuring element of comfortable travel, she considered it her duty to remain well on overseas engagements, not least because of the logistical nightmare if she was taken ill. And then it goes on to say, but above all, that leather case symbolised royal patronage for alternative medicine. Um, and I never knew that. So I wonder whether Charles actually got his interest in this from her. Um, I mean, she can't come out and, you know, probably talk about it publicly, but just the very fact that that's in the paper, I was like, whoa, how cool is that, that the Queen is into it? And um, Charles obviously has been an advocate of it for years. I know it's a very highly um, controversial thing and some people don't believe in it. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's been around a long time. A lot of people swear by it. And... Um, a lot of the teaching that I do is based on it. I mean, you know, our our sprays, our our, our sprays, they're water. Um, they are based basically on the premise that if you put something into water, as Dr. Masaro Emoto taught, taught us, then that water carries the vibration of it. OK, uh, whether that be a healing code or anything else. Interesting. I've just picked up the Mother Mary spray. She's very around, isn't she? So, um. I mean, Mother Mary, I'm sure she would have used all sorts of remedies, natural remedies, herbal remedies. So I wanted to mention that. And I, I did pull a couple of cards on Charles. And it was weird because I pulled the cards twice and the same two kept coming out. And then I pulled a third. I'm going to show you what they are and then I might just pull one other card. 
these two cards kept coming out for him. OK, the eight of swords and the five of swords. Now, the eight of swords is saying he's feeling trapped. Now, this may very well just be that he's in self-isolation, which he is. And he's going stir crazy because Charles is a great nature lover and he loves to be outside. And I guess he can still be walking around Highgrove or wherever he is. But there's just this feeling of entrapment uh, with him. And then we've got the five of swords, which kept which keeps coming up in a lot of readings at the moment, which is victory. But at what cost is always the way I interpret that card. Um I think, even though those cards, the traditional meaning, aren't about this, my interpretation is I think he's very worried about his mum. Um, because to me here, this woman in the centre of the cards, it doesn't... It's almost like that to me feels like it's the Queen, OK? It's like the Queen feeling um, trapped. But I'm only talking in terms of this virus. You know, she's in self-isolation as well. I mean, can you, you know, she's a 90, what is she, 93, 94, 95, her husband's 99, best will in the world, Philip can't be around forever. Um, whatever your spiritual beliefs, whatever your religious beliefs, I think it must be a very, a very strange time um, to know that, well, yeah, the best years of your life are behind you in terms of number of years. Hopefully she's still got years ahead of her, but I don't know. There's just this. There's an energy there I don't want to go into too deeply, but I pulled them for Charles. I feel he's worried about his mum is all I want to say. And then he got the King of Pentacles, you see. So I'm, you know, that's quite a strong card for Charles. Let's just pull one more card from a different deck. Prince Charles, anything that spirit would like or feels that we can see with regard to Prince Charles. The King of Cups, yeah. So you've got two cards, which are kings. So he's a future king. I've said consistently that I've, whenever I've looked at the future of the royal family, I've always gone to um, Prince William. Um because I don't feel as though Charles is going to be on the throne for that long, if at all. But um, I wonder what star sign Charles is. King of Pentacles would be an earth sign. Because that King of Cups, William would be King of Cups, you see. William's a water sign. Cups is water. Maybe Charles is water as well. Should we just have a quick look at what he is? Um, Prince Prince Charles, star sign. He's a Scorpio. Oh, okay. Scorpio. Is that a water sign? Oh, it is a water sign. Okay, no. Okay, fair enough. Well, it could be William, but it's also him. He's got two cards that imply king. So I feel he'll be OK, personally. I'm not going to pull a card on the Queen. It just doesn't feel right to do that. Uh, does it or does it not? Can we pull a card on the Queen? Restaurant's saying you can pull a card on the Queen. OK. All right. Let's see what we get. Queen Elizabeth II. Queen Elizabeth II. Well, two came up. The Four of Cups and the Star. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. A feeling of loss. There's a feeling of loss coming up for the Queen. Um... But yeah, she's also got the card of the star, which is the card of hope. Um, she'll keep going to the very end, you know. Um, and she will be a consistent symbol of hope for a lot of people. I know some people don't like her. I personally do like the I like the Queen. 
Um, so the star card is the card of hope. But yeah, there is some personal sadness here for her. It's as though she's trying to be reminded by spirit of, you know, that she can still do it. She can still, she can still carry that energy of hope. Yeah. Bottom of the deck is the sun. Got a song. The sun will come out tomorrow. <laughs> Who did that? Is that Silla Black? The sun will come out tomorrow. The sun will come out tomorrow. Uh, sun will come out tomorrow. Alicia Morton. The sun will come out tomorrow. The bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. Just thinking about tomorrow clears away the cobwebs and the sorrow till there's none. When I'm stuck with a day that's grey and lonely, I just stick out my chin and grin and say, the sun will come out tomorrow, so you gotta hang on till tomorrow. Come what may, tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you tomorrow, you're always a day away. There we go. That's an anthem for us all. That's like coming from the Queen. That's like the Queen's energy for us. That's like her. You know, I don't think she's ever going to burst into song on a TV, you know, programme. But there, there we go. I've done it for her. That's her message to us. The sun will come out tomorrow. Um, so, hang on in there is what she's saying. Anything else that I want to say in this video? Um, oh yes, I'm just going to end and then I must end because I've got to get out and have my walk. Um, I had a wonderful experience yesterday because I was saying to you that I was dreading going to the supermarket, wasn't I? You know, and like, oh God, I'm going to have to queue and everyone's going to be this and everyone's going to be that. I couldn't have been more wrong. I went to the supermarket yesterday because I had to do some shopping for my mum and me. I had my gloves on. I was, you know, stood back from everybody. It was the most pleasant supermarket experience I've ever had in my life. Firstly, they only allowed about 20 people into the shop at one time, maybe a little bit more than that. There was hardly anybody in the shop. You were allowed in when somebody came out. So they were counting the number of people in the shop at any one time. Everybody was wearing their gloves. Some people have masks on. Um, you had everybody in the queue was queuing two metres away from each other. So people were like going down into like the subway. It was like this great big long um, row of trolleys. In the supermarket, everybody kept their, their, their space from each other. The shelves were full because nobody had ransacked it. Everybody was being respectful. Everybody was being polite. When you got to the checkout, you were told where you needed to stand and, you know, not to get too near to the cashier, etc. Um, it was probably the most pleasant shopping experience I've ever had in my life. And it, I came away and I, I said, well, it can be done, can't it? You know, let's try when all of this is over to go back to the, the basic good manners and respect for other people that was being shown yesterday. Even in the queue, you know, as soon as an elderly person came up, they got to the head of the queue just because people were letting them in, not because anybody asked them to do it. It just naturally happened. It was beautiful. It was it was lovely. It was the best of the human spirit again. OK, um, I'm just going to pull one card for us for today and then I'm going to get on. Um, yeah, this is the Enchanted Tarot, I think, that I'm using here. 26th of March, Metatron, 26th of March. The Five of Pentacles. Um, that is the card that I always seem to get wrong when I um, read on it. So I'm just going to check because now I'm like paranoid. Every, t every time I make a mistake, you see, people straight away comment. <laughs> but I know what I think it is, but let's just check. is what I thought it was. Um, it, can, it can be a card of um, 
hardship, but it's linked into needing to pull together as tribe. Um, it's Metatron making us aware that there are many people in need at the moment out there. OK, many people that are feeling as though they're out in the cold. Their jobs are not there anymore. Maybe they, their paychecks haven't yet come through. Many, many, many countries are putting um, provisions in place for people um, who cannot work, who sh you know, whose place of work is now shut. Here in the UK today, they are announcing a package for people who are self-employed um, because there's nothing being put in place for self-employed people so far. But that's coming in. I think all a lot of the big countries are doing that. I mean, and I think that's why Metatron wants me to look at, for example, India, because I don't know what package of care is coming forward for people in India who have got, who are very much uh, who have nothing. Um, of course, there's a lot of wealth in, in India. There's also a lot of um, people who have, have uh, who are poor. So, um, you know, the beggars on the street, what happens to them in this time? So um, I think this to me feels like a card of charity. If you can and you can um, make a gesture towards somebody in need today, then I think that would be a nice thing to do, whatever that means and whatever you can do. But only if you can. Those that can know they can. And I think this is a bit of a call to do that. It's like I'm finishing with where what I started, which is that um, the NHS volunteer army. Be a volunteer for somebody at the moment who's feeling like the Ten of Swords, who's feeling as though, my God, this is the end of my, my world. I don't know how to pay the rent. I don't know what to do. I, my work has dried up. Um, I'm, I'm just in free fall. Be there for that person. OK, and even if that means just making a small donation to charity or whatever, you know, or taking a food parcel around to somebody or putting something in the food bank is the easiest way to do it. If you're going into a supermarket, you know, just be, look out for each other. Namaste. I'm now going to go and have a walk in the sun because tomorrow we've got um, it's going to be freezing cold. Apparently, yesterday I actually sat out in the garden on a deck chair the sun was amazing i did have a blanket over the top of me it wasn't that warm but it was still beautiful and in all seriousness if, if you have got sun get out in it because um it's really important then you're getting the vitamin d which is what we need to help strengthen our immune system um, apparently vitamin d also helps the respiratory system so if you can get and the natural source of vitamin d is the sunshine so if it's there Get yourself out in it if you can, keeping a safe distance, of course, from everybody else. Much love, everyone. Take care. See you probably tomorrow, but certainly soon. I'm going to do these regularly, if not daily. Namaste. Bye.